All praise to the Most High. So righteous running of the day. Let's get right into it. Play that video. Hello and welcome back. Now I'm going to address uh, the Colts IUIC. Um, I have a message for you. Uh, it's been crazy because I have um, been talking to a lot of uh, people who claim to be, you know, the Hebrew Israelites and things of that nature. Um, but either they didn't have permission, you know, to speak and defend their faith um, openly or, you know, maybe um, they're just too, you know, lower ranking Stop. or Stop. Stop. maybe they're. Well, guess what? Today is your day. Today is your day, damn it. Play that. Afraid. I'm not really sure. I don't really care to be honest with you um, because the facts still remain. IUIC is nothing more than a cult, a uh, denomination, new ageism, if you will. Uh, we've seen this before. Hey, pause real quick. Now, she said IUIC is a denomination. She mentioned new ageism. Okay, IUIC is not a denomination. Right. We are the Israelites, which is a nation of people that went into slavery for breaking God's commandments. We're coming to, re to resurrect our people to come back to God's commandments so we can get the hell out of this what? This plantation. You understand? This is not a denomination. Hey. All right? Play that. You're going to learn today. Um, I pray that it will die out, disband, and people will come out of it uh, and, you know, latch on to truth, um, the truth of the Bible. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so, They're found so, so as she said, let's get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. We're going to see. Nathaniel says that, <laughs> um, I guess I guess he says he can prove or, or he claims to be, you know, some of the descendants from the transatlantic, you know, slave era or the sub-Sahara slave era. N nobody can trace that hey, this pause day. It. Pause it, pause it. She said nobody can trace that. Let's get Deuteronomy 28 real quick. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. And then I want to go straight to uh, 46. Book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou art not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. Now, Moses is speaking to the Israelites. If you don't hearken to do all his commandments, read on. And his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses will come upon a nation of people and overtake them. Now, 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. That's the key to understanding who God's people are. The curses will be upon them for a sign. Go ahead. And for a wonder. And for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. And these curses will be upon the children of Israel's seed, meaning their children, forever. Forever. All right? And we're going to get into some of these. Y'all chime in as we go through it. Play out. Play the video. Nobody. Um, we can barely trace back, mm, I would say at most, maybe five generations. Um, you know, and, and everything else will have to come from the senses. All right, you know, pause, so pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Here we go. Let's get Psalms 83 real quick. Bring it out. She said, we may be able to go back maybe five generations, and then we got to rely on the white man for the rest of the information. Right. Now, Psalms 83. The book of Psalms, chapter 83. She, mentioned, she said the census, which is the so-called white man. Start at verse 3. Yes, sir. Psalms 83 and verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Now, the nations have taken crafty counsel against the Israelites. Read on. And consulted against thy hidden ones. Hidden because we don't know who we are. They hey. hid our nationality, who we are, according to the Bible. Read on. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's the key. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Read on. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. And this is the exact reason. Remember, Deuteronomy 28, 46 says, these things will be upon us for a sign. The entire right. Bible pertains to us. These are signs to identify we are the children of Israel. They cut us off from that. That's why you can't trace your lineage more than five generations or so, because we are the Israelites. Right. All right, play it again, unless y'all got something. Hey, you know, she made a statement that we are a cult, right? But we ain't never kill nobody. Right. We ain't telling nobody to go kill nobody. They quick to call us a cult, right? But all we trying to do is raise up the 12 tribes of Israel, and that's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. That's why Cap always say, 
We don't listen to black women. Thank but you. see, what happens is Esau always gets inside a black woman's head, and he sent her out to do his missions. That's all she's doing. She's trying to sway the minds of the weak. But the ones that know what this Bible talking about, they're not going to listen to that crap. Matter of fact, can I get a script real yes, quick? Sir, yes, sir. If you're looking at the sister, if you spiritual, you're going to know this sister right here don't know God at all. Right. Watch this. Give me Leviticus 13. Right. Bring it out. Because she's sitting up there with a plague in her head, have a nerve to call somebody a coat, but while she's sitting up there envying her, her oppressor. Read. Right. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13 and verse 30. C come on. Then the priest shall see the plague. Uh-huh. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin. Read on. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. Hey, listen. I'm not listening to no black woman. With no blonde hair in her head. Because hey. the Bible clearly says you ain't supposed to blonde your hair. Read it again. Then the priest shall see the plague. Uh -huh. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin. Come on. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. That's going into blonde hair. Read. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. Uh -huh. It is a dry skull, even a leprosy upon the head or the beard. So this sister sitting up here with leprosy in her hair. And she got a nerve that call us a coat. These black women, I tell you, boy. Right. Even even the, the, her eyes, contacts. She hate herself, okay? You hate your natural hair, you hate your natural eyes, okay? That's what a black woman does. Not an Israelite, a black woman. All right? Isaiah 1 and 3 real quick. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Come on. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. Now, God says the ox knows who his owner is, who his master is, who controls him, and what? And the ass his master's crib. The ass meaning the jackass, a donkey. He knows where his homeland is. Read on. But Israel do have not know. My people do have not consider. That is a sign to identify who the Israelites are. Because we don't know who we are, we can't trace our lineage back more than five generations or so. If we get that, that defines us as the Israelites. Why? Because they cut us off from being a nation of people. You understand? Simple black women. Now, play it again. Or play on. So if you cannot, if the census, and, and I forget exactly when the census actually started, because I want to say it was well after, um, maybe like 17, 1800s or something to that effect. So again, the point here, nobody can trace back their lineage <laughs> to the boat, you know, to their great, 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 grandpa and grandma. <laughs> so anyway. So, so pause it. She mentioned the boat. You want, you want to hit that? Hey, nah, I got something else for go you. Ahead, go ahead. Watch this. Get go right back to Psalms 83. Come on. Watch this. Give me verse 12. Bring it out. Come on. The book but, of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 12. Because what she's doing is she's actually identifying that her history is slavery. Thank you. She's actually identifying she, she's with confirming that same the Bible. Thing. Yes. Thank you. But here to call us a cult and say that. There's no way we can do it. But she understands her own history is slavery. Look what the other nations in the crafty council have done. Watch this. The book of Psalms 83 and verse 12. Come on. Who said, uh -huh. let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. In what? In possession. That means the children of God, the Israelites, are in captivity. That's literally what it's letting you know. It's not only in here. From cover to cover, it's explaining that those signs and wonders is going to be on the children of Israel. I don't understand. I don't understand why she... I told you, Kat, this is going to be a whole hey, class hey, on hey, this. Hey, she a black, ashy devil. That's what yeah. she is. The devil! Hey, hey, Kat, can I bring out something real quick? Yeah, come on. Uh, can I get First Maccabees uh, 2 and verse 51 real quick? So when we read Romans 15 and 4, it says everything are written, a fourth time was written for our learning. Hey, Which, hey, real, real, real quick, let's... let's Shout out to Issachar. This brother just got off the plane, came straight to the show. Doing the work for the most right, Give him a round of applause, right. IT. Yeah, man. That, IT, that, come on, man. What are the sound effects? That, that, the Edomites didn't want me to come back. <laughs> but, uh, hey, let's get it. Let's get it. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 2 and verse 51. Uh -huh. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So we're supposed to go through the scriptures and be, be able to figure out our ancestors. Donald Trump. A white man, you know, her 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 uh, lover, you know what I'm saying? Because she dresses like uh, his women. She, um, uh, <laughs> he said he's a Roman. So he didn't go back five generations when he said that. 
Hurt. He went back to the time of Christ. He said, I'm a Roman. So how the hell can he know his nationality in the Bible, but you, black woman, can't? You know what I'm saying? Why, why can't the Mexican, the Dominican, why can't we go back in the scriptures and go through the scriptures and get, guess what, get corrected? Like it says, all scripture is, is profitable for correction Hurt. because what you said is dumb. It don't make no sense. All right, uh, one last scripture, Ecclesiastes 4.16. Ecclesiastes 4.16. It's one of my favorite scriptures because I remember my mom told me that the Mexicans were all mixed with uh, mulattoes and all types of stuff. And then I had to give her that numbers 1 and 18. But look at this scripture right here. It's a precept. Ecclesiastes The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 16. Let's go. go ahead. There is no end of all the people. There's no end of the people. So those slaves had babies. Right. Those babies are you with your blonde hair. Go ahead. Even of all that have been before them. Uh huh. So it, you don't need no census to know that people regenerate. I mean, generate. They have sex. They beget other babies. Other people. Go hey. ahead. <laughs> they also that come after uh -huh. shall not rejoice in him. Surely this also is vanity and vexation of spirit. So this is why when you get to the New Testament, you read about Paul. He said he's an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Right. That is found in the book of Genesis. He was alive thousands of years after that. And he can go back without a census and just go through the scriptures and figure out what tribe he came from. Right. Hey, hey, one more quick thing. People, when they want to disrespect the bishop, they always call him by his name, right? And I'm not there going to do it. You know, that's Bishop Nathaniel. That's right. Okay. Right. Y'all put some respect on Bishop name, man. Stop calling him out of his name. That's Bishop the General at that Nathaniel. Right. Stop with the damn disrespect, man. So now, hey, Atsi, give me the, um, I want a book, a Treatise of Physical Geography. Um, if we can get the cover page and then page 297, then I want to go to um, Babylon to Timbuktu. But uh, a treatise of physical geography. If y'all, if y'all need a second to pull it up, y'all can play more of the video real quick. All right, yeah, that's what I want. A treatise on physical geography, compromising hydrology, genasi, geology, meteor meteorology, botany, zoology, and anthropology by A. Barrington, Charles Burdett. Right, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> all of that. T two ninety-seven. Let me get that. Page two ninety-seven. They, oh Christ! They are all. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Yeah, yeah. What, what? That ain't it. That ain't it. No, nah. it does say two ninety seven, but that's not it. Uh yeah, the bottom. That's what I want. The bottom part. I was like, what is that top piece? Okay. Yeah, right. the underlying portion. Yes. Yes, sir. Thus, the Jews are a people who have ever, according to prophecy, dwelt alone, without intermixing with the nations to this day. Uh huh. At that time, when the book was written, read on. Now, this separate race, all descended from brown ancestors. Now, the, this, this is saying the Jews are black. Okay? Right. We descended from brown ancestors. Read on. For Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob must have been as dark as Mar Yohanan. Abraham, if, Isaac, and Jacob must have been as dark as what? Mar Yohanan. Go ahead. If not darker. If not darker. These were black men. Read on. And exhibit every shade of color. From the black Jews of Malabar, uh -huh. of whom we have such an interesting account. So now, although we're black, we come from brown ancestors. There's different shades of brown amongst us. Read on. Hey. By Dr. Claudius Buchanan, to the rose and lily complexion of the Jewesses on the banks of the Elbe, we need go no further than the Jews of southern Spain and compare them with those of Holland and northern Germany. Now, this is history, brothers and sisters. So they know who we are. They know who we are. Read on. To perceive a very striking difference. Come on. The Spanish Jew is always dark complexion. The Spanish Jew is always dark complexion. Come on. And his hair is uniformly black. You see that? Just like Christ. Black hey. into the ground. Read on. Whilst the German Jew is often as fair as any German and has light or red hair. That's a so-called white man. Read on. With blue eyes. Read on. The various shades of color observable among the Negro or African race Tends to the same conclusion. So it's telling us right here, the Negro, the African, and the Jew looks just alike. Read on. Along Read. the coast of Guinea, which is low, marshy, and hot, we find jet black complexions. And this is very, and this is the very country from which American Negroes have been derived. So, so that's cold-blooded right there. 
So they're telling us the American Negroes arrived from these same black Jews. This is a history book. But guess what? We don't need this. The Bible already confirmed who we are. You understand? This is a secondary source just to back up what the Bible's already saying. Now, let's play, uh, let's play the video. Let's play more of that. And I'm going to get um, Babylon and Timbuk too after this, but play, play the video. So, Kat, with yeah. that, that shows that this isn't something that Bishop Nathaniel just started. He didn't make this up. So it can't be a cult because it's historical and biblical proof. Thank you. It's biblical proof. And when you watch the video, you see the amount of scriptures you got? Right, right. Zero. Where the, where the scriptures at? Bruh. So far, where are the scriptures? Trying to pull people to the truth, though. That's what she said. Right. Come on, this, man. This is what the Christian church does. They just talk. They just talk, 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 talk. They don't have Bruh. no scriptures. They can't back anything up. You want to say something? No, I was just saying, the Bible told us what to do with women like this, Cap. Right. It told us what to do. We can go into it later yeah. on, but he said prophesy against them. Right. Get it, get it. Uh, let me get Ezekiel 13, verse 17. Because it's, it's, it's women like this. Cap, that, that all the work that, that the Most High has put on the spirits of the bishops, the deacons, and captains. Then you get black women like this that ca- try to come out and undermine it. But like we always say, the Bible is undefeated. Exactly. <laughs> the Bible is undefeated. And it's going to stay like that, too. Yes, sir. Can we read that scripture? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 13, verse 17. Likewise, thou son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart. And prophesy thou against them. The Bible says she's talking out her own head. Right. She ain't pulling no scriptures. She has no books to back up nothing, none of what she's saying. But on the contrary, Bishop Nathaniel, the deacons, the other bishops, they have went into the historical books, pulled out the historical facts, lined it up with Bible, with the prophecies of the Bible, and now we know who we are today. Exactly. While she's sitting up here envying her whole presser and wanting to be just like uh, uh, the daughters of Satan, which that's where she at. She a daughter of Satan right there. The Bible told us to prophesy against them. Don't so that's what we're going we to do today. We're going to prophesy really? against them today. Right, right. That's why you front and center on escaping the plantation as the damn righteous run of the day. Run in your mouth. All right. Let me get right. the, we'll play, play more of the video real quick. You know, to be a descendant, you can't. It's impossible. Anybody with logic, reason, uh, understanding secular history, understanding biblical history. Uh, stop, stop, with- stop, stop. So now we just use a secular source and we prove based on the scriptures already. Several scriptures. Hey. Right. But notice what, what you just said. All she's doing is just talking, just running her mouth. And who's she looking at? She, she, she like Satan. Am I saying it right, Satan? Am I doing it right? <laughs> Play on. We're going we're gonna to cut it soon. Play on. Never do that. We're gonna, but we're gonna you, for some reason. Thing. And I think because you're cult members, they don't think of it, uh, you know, outside of what you propagate. Um, maybe they haven't woken up to that. But I'm here to, to wake them up. Wake up, people. Your guy is wrong. He cannot prove the, the things that he preaches and teaches. It's impossible. Wait All a right. minute. Wait a minute. She All must right. not be watching class every Sabbath. <laughs> Bishop lined up the history books every single Sabbath. He go into the archaeology. He go into the history of how we the Israelites because of people like you. Right. Because right. you got gainsayers and dollars out there. And so we have to drill that in our people head that we are the people of the book. So you need to shut your black lips. Hey, man. Play on. Right. That's what okay, right let here. me give you an example. Just going looking at your sacred history right now. In 632, uh, in North Africa, uh, Islam spread it so strong in that area that they were selling people and goods. Um, you, you couldn't even get into that particular region or part of the region um, because it was ruled by Islam. So they decided who traded what and who and, and all that good stuff. All right, go a little bit further down, uh, 750. Uh, in Ghana, uh, hey, hey, give me that in Jeremiah about Islam, real quick. Bring it out. She mentioned, "Hey, I want, I want Babylon and Timbuk too." Matter of fact, give me that first. Give me the cover page, and then I'm gonna skip. Yeah, yeah. Give me that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter two and verse twenty-seven. Say unto a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone, Thou hast brought me forth. Come on. They have turned their back unto me. You see that? They have turned their back unto me. So where did we learn that from? The Muslims. Islam. That's where we learned it from. Read it from the top again. Saying to a stock, 
thou art my father, and to a stone thou hast brought me forth. Uh-huh. Meaning for, you're my God, Allah, you're my God. Read on. For they have turned their back unto me. You see what God is saying? They have turned their back on me. Read on. And not their face. Come on. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, arise and save us. Right. Arise and save us. We want the Lord to, to deliver us out of the hands of the so-called Arabs hey. during the sub-Saharan slave trade. Hey. We wanted that thing. Now, give me that book real quick. And I'm going to get page. Uh, let's start at 40. Let me get 45 after this. That's Babylon to Timbuktu. From Babylon to Timbuktu by Rudolf R. Windsor. Page 45, I see. Pull that up. When Muhammad was born, many Arabs were still worshiping the sun, stars, spirits, and idols. The Arabs possessed 360 idols, one for each day of the year. You see that? They had 360 idols, one for each day of the year. Read on. After Muhammad became a camel driver, he traveled to remote and intriguing lands. He led his caravans to Persia, Syria, and Egypt transacting business with merchants of every kind. On his business trips, he met Jews, Christians, and members of other sects. Uh -huh. He interrogated them concerning the tenets. So, so Jews and Christians is talking about the same people. It's just our people that didn't understand Christ as of yet. Still <clears throat> stunk under the law of sacrifice. Read on. He interrogated them concerning the tenets of their religion. Uh -huh. He frequented the environment of the Jews and their rabbis. He frequented the environment of the Israelites, the Jews. Go ahead. Mostly because they were merchants. Now, now remember the source we already read. These descended from brown ancestors. When you read Jews, we're talking about black people here. Brown and black people. Read on. Mostly because they were merchants and an omnipresent ethnic group. Read on. Because he could not read or write. Muhammad could not read or write, brothers and sisters. He was not a prophet of the Lord. Read on. His ears were attentive and keen to everything that the Jews related to him. Muhammad learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion. He did what? Muhammad learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion. He extracted much from the Jewish religion. I hate that word Jewish. The Israelites' so-called religion, okay, from our Bible, our scriptures. That's why, listen, brothers, when you look up the word Quran or Quran, how they, however they want to say it, it means to recite. That's what it means. It's a recitation. That's why certain things you read in the Quran, you'll find in the Bible. It's a recitation. Read that part again. He extracted. Yes, sir. Muhammad learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion and compounded it with his new religion, Islam. His new religion, <laughs> Islam. Now, give me page 50, and then we're going um, to end, end this on, this on this note right here. We got more on that, but she's done. She's finished. So it was with Muhammad... He had came to a point of no return. He became a religious extremist in order to give his people a better life on a rapid scale. Come on. Muhammad came to the conclusion that all means of persuasion had been exhausted. Now that part right there, he said he came to a conclusion that all means of persuasion had been exhausted. So now persuading to do what? He was trying to persuade our people to follow his new religion, Islam. Read on. The period of patience was past, and he was now determined to propagate his religion by the sword. For he said, I, last of the prophets, am sent with a sword. Now, the, he, now again, he's calling himself a prophet. You want to get that? In, um, yeah, get that real quick. The book of Amos, hold on, one second, chapter 2 and verse 11. And I raise up your sons for prophets, and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, say of the Lord? So the prophets are the Israelites. Muhammad couldn't have been a prophet because he comes from Ishmael. And you could also read that in the Zonovan Bible Compact Dictionary, all right? Hey. We have resources. The sister don't read. She don't read. She don't even look at the screen when she's talking. She's talking to Satan. <laughs> Satan is to the left of her. If you look at her eyes, you can get over there. I don't know who she's looking at. That's all I got. Right, I, last of the prophets, am sent with a sword. The sword is the key to heaven and hell. All who draw it in the name of the faith will be rewarded. So now remember, it said Ishmael should be a wild man. This is part of it. He says all who draw it in the name of faith will be rewarded. If I kill these Jews and make them follow Islam, I'm going to be rewarded. Read on. 
Muhammad became a martial prophet, a martial prophet mm -hmm. and the pagans and stubborn Jews became his victims. You see that? The Israelites became his victims, so they forced us to follow Islam. That's why Jeremiah 227, one more time, says what again? Read that again. Watch the this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, and verse 27. Saying to a stock, thou art my father. Come on. And to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. Read on. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, arise and save us. Right. Give me Jeremiah 3. There's another one. Yes, sir. Jeremiah verse 3. 2. Yeah. The that. book of Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 2. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places and see where thou hast not been lying with. It says, look and see where thou hast not been lying with. That lying means corrupted. Read on. And the ways hast thou set for them. And the ways hast thou sat for them. As the Arabian in the wilderness. The Arabian taught us Islam. And that's how we learned it. We're not Islamic. We're not Muslim. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites. Islam is no different than Christianity following white man Jesus. It's the same thing. Over there, you got a rock, a cobblestone. Over here, you got a white image of Jesus. It's the same thing. Religion, so-called religion, we learn in slavery, being oppressed, colonized, and so forth. Read one more time. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places and see where thou hast not been lying with and the ways hast thou set for them as the Arabian in the wilderness and thou hast polluted the land with thy whoredoms and with thy wickedness what is the nation nation is men leading by example Oh!